OpenKM software, manage digital content, simplify workloads, and yield high efficiency. Hello, my name is Alex Garcia. Thank you for visiting the OpenKM USA YouTube channel. This is the second in our series of videos explaining the user interface of OpenKM. In this video, we will be going over the search function of OpenKM. When we first access the search function, it takes us to our full text search. This allows us to look through any text associated with a document within the taxonomy of OpenKM. Here we see when I search for HSK, we find documents that contain HSK in their content, as well as the document named HSK. If we look at the top right, we see this small search bar. This search bar is a shortcut to our full text search. If we search using this bar, it simply takes us to our full text search. Next, we will see our advanced mode. When we activate advanced mode, we will see we have three sections, basic, advanced, and metadata. In basic, we have some options to narrow down our search. First, we have our context. This allows us to search through documents in our taxonomy, templates, my documents, email, and trash. For example, if I search for documents with contents HSK in the taxonomy, I see these documents. And if I switch to my documents, we see this other document contained in my personal folder. Content allows us to search through only the text inside of a document. Name allows us to look only for the name of a document. The name of the document is shown here. Title allows us to only search for the assigned title for a document. Here we see this document's title as example. Keyword allows us to search through the assigned keywords for a document. Here we see this document has two keywords, test and example. Language allows us to look through documents by which language they are. User allows us to search for documents based on a user who has either created or modified a document. And date range allows us to look for documents that were made between certain dates. In advanced, we have folder. Folder allows us to look through for documents inside of a specific folder. For example, in my AG documents, these are the documents that exist inside. If I select recursive, not only will this look through documents in the selected folder, but also in any folder contained by that folder. For example, inside of my AG documents, I have an image folder. If there's any folders inside that folder, it would be able to continue to search through them, and so on. Category is similar to folder. However, instead of searching through the taxonomy, this lets us look through our categories. Type lets us select whether we are looking for a document, folder, email, or record. MIME type allows us to search for document types, such as specific image types, office documents, PDFs, and audio and video files. And notes allows us to search through documents by the notes written by users. The last of our advanced mode options is metadata. Metadata allows us to search through documents by the assigned metadata. For example, if I search for a matricula that is 6788HSK, I find this PDF. We have a compact view, which will take the full view of the search and put each document into a single line. We can also view the metadata groups of the document. Here we see that our matricula is indeed 6788HSK. We can also view which documents are the selected document is related to, and we can save as user news. Here we can save our searches for later. This allows us to keep a library of searches for easy access. Stored searches are contained on the left. Finally, here we see two buttons. This one allows us to export our search into a CSV file, and this allows us to export the documents we've searched for into a zip folder. This concludes today's look through the search functions of OpenKM. Thanks for watching this video and for more information, visit our website, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Contact us by email at info at